You know, I really like tea. Well guys, it's currently about 6.30 in the morning, and there's not really a whole lot of gaming news going on at this hour. PlayStation 5 is, turns out, not going to be backwards compatible with anything but a few PlayStation 4 titles. Fanboys on Twitter are still freaking out because Sony said they're going to put more of their exclusives on PC. But otherwise, it's just kind of a slow day. So, because of that, I thought we would take a look at a different channel. I've been wanting to do a video on them for a while, but uh, I was just kind of waiting for a good opportunity. So this channel that I'm going to be taking a look at is called Michael Does Life. And oh boy, <laughs> this is really something. This is probably the most, uh, mm, I, don't, I don't even know how to describe it at this point. Okay, so imagine you see a pretty girl walking down the street, right? You see a pretty girl, and then you think, oh, hey, that girl's kind of cute. I'm going to go over and talk to her. And then when you talk to her, you realize, oh, this girl is crazy because she's talking about her roach collection. You know what I mean? Have you ever, you ever been in that situation? This is what this channel looks like. If you look like at the initial front page, it looks normal enough, except for the fact that a lot of the videos are all kind of the same. But other than that, just from like the thumbnail and the title, it looks, it looks pretty similar. Like, for example, you see the last four videos are on Mafia 1. And they all look like they have pretty much the same title and similar thumbnails. Don't buy Mafia 1 Remake. Mafia 1 Remake broke me. Mafia 1 Remake is destroying greatness. Mafia 1 Remake Review. Don't buy it. So, similar enough titles with similar enough thumbnails that are normal enough but just very repetitive. We're going to take a look today. I think we'll watch this video Mafia 1 remake is destroying greatness. And I'm just I'm just going to show you guys exactly why this guy is complete bonkers. How does it feel fake mafia fans to be a part of the losers club? It must be so, so incredibly sad. Now let me ask you something. If you clicked on a video and the very first thing you were told was that you were a fake fan and part of the Losers Club, wouldn't you just be a little bit ticked off? Like if I started a Team Fortress 2 stream and when everybody got in there I said, Hey guys, how does it feel to be a part of the Team Fortress 2 Losers Club? Like wouldn't you just find that a little bit pompous like wouldn't you just think that I was a complete and utter folks I'm here yet again for another unmitigated reality check and I know for you fake mafia fans that came from Fortnite and Fall Guys this is going to be an extremely hard pill for you to swallow this face right here yeah that one it concerns me slightly you look like you're on crack cocaine while being told at the same time that you're banned from your favorite Chinese restaurant. Nothing personal, bro. I don't want any of your pills, especially if they're the same ones you've been taking. But it's time to get down to the brass tacks. So as you can see, Mafia Remake, Mafia 3, they play exactly the same. Same animations, even in some cases the exact same audio. Yet, they're two completely, totally different characters. Lincoln Clay is a Vietnam vet. Tommy is a cab driver. Yet, we're not seeing those differences on display here. And it is so, so incredibly sad. What are you on about? You took a few different little scenes from the remake and from the third that just have similar animations and shooting sequences and whatnot and are trying to say they're the same game the mafia one remake uses the exact same engine as mafia 3 which is why they're remaking it because it's going to be newer and better it's going to have a few little changes but it's not going to be anything like mafia 3 like are you serious do you not realize this or is this just some big troll i mean i'm getting the impression from the from this video that you're kind of like playing up a character and you're just trying to troll everybody which is why you've done four videos on the same topic which are probably all exactly the same thing but i don't know something just in the back of my mind tells me that you're just somebody who is still with their parents who they're trying to keep off the streets for as long as possible now what's interesting here is if we go to this article 
from usgamer.net. It says one major change is gunplay is being pulled from Mafia 3 with more cover-based gunplay mechanics. The difference is Clay was a former soldier and Tommy is just a cab driver. Hangar 13 tried to capture the difference between the two men in the gameplay. Combat is a little bit more lethal for Tommy. And every bullet matters. Mafia is about grounding the player in those encounters rather than going in guns ablaze. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. You're trying to make the game more challenging. It's going to be more challenging in Mafia 1, which makes total sense seeing that Lincoln Clay was a former soldier and Tommy was a cab driver. Obviously, a cab driver is not going to have as much experience or endurance or any of those other things that a soldier is going to have. I fail to see what's wrong with this. Well, then why am I not seeing that here with the gameplay? None of what they're talking about is on display here. It's a carbon copy of Mafia 3, and it's so, so incredibly lazy. I've got something to say about this. One, you're taking this from a few little animations and scenes that look similar, and just some article that says gunplay is going to be pulled from the game with cover-based shooting. That is one change in an overhauled game that has way more mechanics than just the shooting. Even if you were right and the shooting was a carbon copy of Mafia 3, that does not change the game and make it into Mafia 3. There are still so many other facets of the original Mafia that are nothing like Mafia 3. And bro, don't be talking about being lazy because it's a carbon copy of the Mafia 3 when this video is a carbon copy of the last two that you made on the exact same subject. It is just so incredibly hypocritical. It's quite clear that the Mafia 1 remake needs more time in the oven. But you fake Mafia fans, you don't care. You never have and you never will because you were too busy going. <laughs> huh. Okay. That was interesting. So yeah, guys, that's the end of his video. And that's basically how he ends every other single video on his channel. Now, we're not done yet. I want to take a look at another video he did about a month ago about Resident Evil 8. And you guys will see it's more or less about the same kind of content. It's called, I played Resident Evil Village and it's dot dot dot. Let's take a look. How does it feel to be a part of the Losers Club? It must be so incredibly sad. I mean, not really. Life's pretty good. We're making vids. Channel's growing. People are leaving likes on this video, hopefully. Um, gonna be live streaming later today. Gonna be finishing the Henry Stickman collection. I mean, I, I think stuff's pretty good at the moment. I'm a real Resident Evil fan, and you're not. You came from Fortnite to this all new edition of Resident Evil 2 and 3, and now you're like, oh my God, Michael, I have that certified badge. No, you don't have a say on what this franchise should be. You know, Michael, you would make a perfect, perfect PlayStation fanboy. Because like them, you want to gatekeep certain franchises from other people. I'm sure a lot of people who've played Horizon Zero Dawn on PC have some ideas about what they'd like to see in Horizon Forbidden West. But I'm sure if they ever vocalize those opinions, a lot of PlayStation fanboys would be like, Oh no, you played The Leftovers. We play it originally. This game is for us and not for you. With that same smug, self-satisfied, arrogant attitude. I don't understand why people want to do this. It's incredibly immature, and frankly, I think it's something that most people should have outgrown by the time they reach third grade. Or where this franchise should go. If you rated this all new edition of Resident Evil 2 or 3 positively on Steam, you can kiss my ass. You are one of the reasons why this franchise is in the shitter. But folks, I have a bombshell announcement to make here today. And I know you fake Resident Evil fans are going to be so jealous. Jealous that world-class veteran video game critic Michael does life. Again, a real Resident Evil fan, unlike you. If this is what real Resident Evil fans act like, I don't want to be one. Well, I've made it into this all-new upcoming edition of Resident Evil. Resident Evil Village. This isn't a joke. It's not a meme. It's the reality. 
Bro, is this supposed to be some evidence that you are in Resident Evil 8? Uh, you have a picture that you clearly took with your phone camera because the same wall that's behind you now is behind you in that picture. You're wearing the same shirt. You just have like some yellow rain poncho over top of you. And then down below you have some really blurry picture of some tree zombie. I mean, what the crap? That's not even from a Resident Evil game most likely. Is this a joke? Are you serious? Are you just trolling everybody? Have you have you convinced yourself into thinking that you're actually in the game? Of the situation. And you know, I really am so glad that I made it into this all new upcoming edition of Resident Evil, Resident Evil Village, because again, I deserve to be in Resident Evil Village. I mean, I've been with this franchise since day one. Again, you came from Fortnite. Yeah, you have a copy of some older discs from the game. That totally proves that you've played the series for basically as soon as it's been out. I mean, I could go on eBay right now and get the same things, but you know, that's that's just totally, that's just me, that's just, I'm just saying that because I'm jealous, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, you're gonna be in Resident Evil, so excuse me. Now you're like, oh my God, Michael, I know what survival horror is. Well, I mean, I've had to watch two of your videos, so I think I do know what survival horror is. No, you don't have a say, you don't have a say. <gasps> Because you're too busy doing so much silly crap like that, that at the end of the day, is going to get you nowhere. Well, you turned the crazy up to 100 there at the end, but I mean, your phone was ringing. You probably needed to finish recording so you could go stink and answer it. <laughs> oh, hi, Mom. <laughs> Just got done recording a video. So yeah, guys, you have basically seen what Michael does life is like. And honestly, this is the strangest and probably the worst gaming channel I've ever seen in my stinking life. This guy's crazy. He's basically either some escaped mental ward patient or just somebody who is really strung out on a lot of drugs. Or, probably the most likely explanation is he's just playing a character and this is just all fake to get in views. But hey, it's working for him. He's got almost 27,000 subs. His videos get a few thousand views each one, maybe about six to 10,000. And you saw a few of them, like this one on Ghost of Tsushima review, don't buy it. That one got 115,000. Wonder what the dislike to like ratio is on that. That's actually a, okay, it's like a clip from a live stream, I think. 10,000 dislikes, 869 likes. Yeah, this guy doesn't really get very good very good uh, like to dislike ratios, but he doesn't need to. He's making he's making that money. He's got a Patreon. How many Patreons this guy has? Let me take a look and see. Uh, he has two at the one dollar tier. Okay, yeah, real, really making that moolah, Michael. Good good job. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to go ahead and make this video and just kind of showcase this because there wasn't a whole lot to make videos on today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and found it entertaining. Like I said, this guy is actually very entertaining with the kind of stuff he makes. Like, I genuinely find him a funny personality to watch just because he's so bat barf crazy. But the sad part is it gets old after about three videos because they're all exactly the same. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter for some of my hot takes and good juicy stuff over there. Check out our Discord server below. Like I said, we will be streaming Henry Stickman collection later, so if you're seeing this on the same day it came out, uh, go over and check that out, because that'll be up in a couple of hours. But until next time, I've been your host, Kess Gaming, and I will see you all at the top. I'm about to end this man's whole career. I, I, I